of hey everyone welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice in the last episode if I remember correctly I got chased and almost killed by a bunch of ghost dogs which well we're going to try not getting killed by them what the hell is this bite down the secret shinobi drug blue in color when times call for death by one's own hand samurai turn their swords on themselves as a matter of pride while shinobi demand a swifter means simply crushing the back teeth to die Nothing more is required. Res resurrection is not limited after use. Holy shit. So basically, I can die and resurrect. Oh shit. Wait though, does this mean... Does this mean that if I'm close to death... Weird. Does that mean... Oh, okay, hold on. It must mean that, right? That if I'm close to death... Fucking hell. I'm trying to Mikiri here because... I've not done a Mikiri in so long. Come on, Mikiri this fool. There we go. Doesn't matter. So does that mean if I'm close to death and I use that thing, I can resurrect? Again? That's pretty insane. By the way, can we just mention that the enemies are here are absolute bitches? Like, these dudes are so weak. Even inside combat. Sorry, doggo. Oh, well, your friend is just... Not only deaf, but blind as well. There we go. Eat shit, doggo. Sorry about that. Fucking John didn't pet Ghost in Game of, Game of Thrones either. I was pissed about that. Man, even if you don't have budget for the CGI, he has to pet the dog, doesn't he? Whatever. Don't want to talk about it because spoilers, you know. Yeah, this, is, this little ditch is where I've not yet been. This is where all the dogs were. I almost got killed. I have not managed to make sense of this area, let me tell you that. Uh, it's like this giant cavern, not cavern, but like giant valley, isn't it? Still, I'm assuming the way forward is the way forward, so... You know, let's not overcomplicate things. Snapseed, I remember that. Oh, and we're on the other side of this place. Cool. Just trying to see. No, just pretty much came back to the beginning. All right, if you're going to play it like that game. I did not know you could survive this. I thought this was instant death. I was about to... S no, not instant death, but... Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, so you can survive this, but there's a lot of dudes. Stealth dudes as well. How about disengaging? Sounds like a good idea to me. Cool. I think the times call for. Get your ass back to the nearest bonfire and rest. Sculptor's Idol, whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah, I think... I pretty much got my ass handed to me, so... You know, let's not, let's not mess around. I'm getting pretty low on healing items as well, so... Yeah, we'll go for the safer option. Don't... What an idiot. It's weird because you like snap onto everything in this game. Like, if you walk on top of a wall, it's like very difficult to fall off, except here. Alright, lesson learned. Be a little bit more careful. See, there I couldn't walk off the edge. But the other areas, damn. Oh, yeah, and I've. I pretty much. it. You've gotta be kidding me. This is the most difficult boss in the game. 
getting back to the sculptor's idol. Finally, can I get thank you? I was gonna say, one thing I've sure as hell been not using, and I should be, is these Mibu balloons. Yeah, people keep telling me to get my shit together and actually use them because apparently they're really powerful and I don't know why I'm not using them. Oh, the roosters are back. And me falling off again is back. Why did I think that was an enemy there? Seriously? It's not a grabbable ledge? I'm fine with that. Fuck off, rooster. So now that I've fallen into this ditch about a million times, you know, let's not do it a million and one times. That didn't make jack shit sense. Yeah, screw it. We're going this way. I was gonna go the other way, but whatever. These poor roosters. And just a random ass ninja comes along and stabs them. What an asshole. So if I had to guess, the pagoda is the way forward. I don't think it takes a genius to figure that one out. Stealth dudes. Luckily, again, as I said, they are incredibly weak. Come on, Mikiri. I blocked it anyways. So... Never mind. Never mind. Eat a backstab. Hello, doggo. These doggos are a little bit more powerful. Still bitches, but... It's from the fact that they have stealth. What up? Damn, I really thought that was gonna work. As in the me... Getting a jump attack. What the hell? I swear, me blocking those flawlessly is accidental. Come on, Mikiri. Sick. I gotta get into the Mikiri mindset a little bit more because I've not been using them. Can I cut this down? No, I can't. You can just block them. And these dogs, I feel sorry for them. So weak. What up? So are these dudes like ghosts or like what's the deal here? Because that monk at the start mentioned something about somebody is casting the mist. And we're supposed to find them. I don't know. Vati, please confirm. I know there's a lot of dudes here, and I failed the Makiri. Alright. Easy enough, I would say. Easy enough. The only question here... Is where the fuck do we go now? I saw a grapple point. Maybe we gotta go up. Yes, maybe. Top of the pagoda. pagoda. The top of the me I can't talk. Alright, get on top of this bitch. Uh, I don't think we can jump there. Or make that jump. It certainly looks way forward-ish. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's in, maybe the solution is in this valley right here. Sorry, doggo. Come 
Come on, goes doggos. Oh, somebody's shooting at me. Damn, I'm getting blasted. It's not fair. I dislike being blasted by arrows, so let me just... Where the hell did all these fools come from? Not that it matters, but still. Still it does, it kind of does matter. Some of these dudes are making hella weird noises. Okay, these dogs, I'll admit, they're kind of annoying. Hello there. Whoa! That was accidental. This dude doesn't stop. Whoa! Chill out. He also dies very easily. Okay, that has got to be all the enemies in this goddamn ditch, right? No, they're not. Come on. There's one. Man, I like the combat of this game. I always forget, you know, because I'm playing MKX a lot right now. I'm K11, sorry. So I'm kind of playing this game less often, but damn, every time I come back to it, I'm like, this game is sick. They, man, FromSoft really knows how to make a combat system. I thought there might be some secret. Some secret Discord tech. Oh, I hear something. Maybe that dude is right. There is some chick playing some weird ass musical instrument. It really, it really looks like you gotta get on top of this somehow. But damn, it's like some flute thing, right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, and they, they come back. That's why it was... Okay. Now I understand. It all makes sense, boys. It all makes sense. I don't know if I'm a dumbass, but... I genuinely don't know where to go. Hold on. Something with this weird tree. Now you can't. Can't interact with that. Holy shit. This is gonna be a where the fuck do I go type of episode. Has the potential to be. Oh god damn it. What did I say about respawning, you idiots? Ain't gonna work. That's why I was like weirded out. I'm like, was there seriously this many enemies here? But it turns out there weren't. It's just... Huh, maybe up there? But I've been up there, haven't I? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. That was both a question and a statement. Ah, oh, shit. At the same time, I was like, no, I haven't. But then I realized that I really haven't been. There's Monkos. Oh, hello. Shit. Now these mon they have now, like they got katanas as well. 
And little helmets as well. It's kind of adorable. Oh, there's a dude. Yuzu. Or Jozu, or whatever his name is. Tokuru... Tokujiro the Glutton. Sorry, monkey. Is that all of them? Can I just say something? I have no idea how I fought this guy. Oh, that's a sweep. He has a grab too, doesn't he? Okay, death fist. Don't, don't try to, yeah. Oh, he has a double death fist. The problem is, I know what the problem is. The problem is I've never really figured out this dude's attack patterns because I used the fucking NPC. Nothing else I can super lame him out by uh, Yeah, if I want I can super lame this guy out by just waiting until he drinks. That's a sweep. He doesn't have grab attacks. Nah, he doesn't. He has something. Okay. Cool. So, we have two options here. Like I said, I think you can lame the hell out of this guy by, by just kiting him until he drinks. And then once he does that, it's basically backstab time, so... I mean, that's an option, but the question is... Oh, thank you. Haven't received Unseen Aid in ages. Perfect for fucking up these chickens. Hound style. Talking about Game of Thrones again, even though, like, right now I think Season 8 sucks. Like... It's really bad, but hey, at this point, and most people think it's really bad too. I think at this point, most people are a little bit too invested to just, you know, oh, just clip through the world there a little bit. You know, they're a little bit too invested just to straight up quit the show. I know I am. Again, even though I think that the way they handle the end of this story has been ugh, so frustrating. So, so frustrating. Is he drinking with the monkeys? Is that what's going on right here? Because to me, that seems like that's what's going on here. There's a monkey with a gun too. Come on up here, monkeys. You guys suck. These guys are low tier as hell. Holy shit, I like that animation. Let's just get up here. Bring the monkey along for a ride. I'm out of pellets. It's good to know. It's good to know. It looks like you have a shit ton of time to just like buff up and all that. Which I should do. Let's do Ungo Sugar. Let's do Ongo Sugar, why not? Defense. Oh, that, that was the sweep. Shit. I screwed up. It's all good, it's all good. We got this, boys. We got this. 
Let's heal up. Yeah, the reason I'm kind of... Oh, I'm dead. The reason I'm a little bit more scared of this guy is because he has like hyper armor and stuff. You know, because normally most opponents uh, you can be really, really aggressive against because they just keep blocking. But this guy, he just straight up tanks attacks. So that's the... That's the thing. You have to fight him. It seems like you have to fight him a little bit differently compared to some of the other enemies. Kind of like the ogre. That dude was like that. Just kept taking attacks. But yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea to... Well, not cheat on this guy the last time around, but cheese him. Because... I straight up didn't learn his attack patterns. Hey, lesson learned. Next time around, don't do that. I think I have some prayer beads I've not used yet. I'm pretty sure I do. Let me remember to do that next time around. How much do you want to bet that I'm not gonna remember doing that next time around? Is there a very good chance? There is a very, very good chance. Come on, bitches. Ouch. The gum monkey just dropped down. Which is not good. These dudes are all over the place. They suck. Come on, you come up here. Or don't come up here, fine. Shit. Did you see that masterful dodge? And that me running like a bitch? I do wonder... How forgetful the enemies are in this game. They tend to be very forgetful. This guy like resets into some neutral situation where I can backstab him. I really do wonder. Let's not buff up until we do that. Yeah, he does. So probably... Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Gaijin sugar. Go all stealthy and shit. It's foggy anyways on the best of days here. Oh, this is... This is the shit. I am the best fucking ninja in the world. Eat shit, Tokujiro. Okay, one health bar. I can get one health bar down. Holy shit, it does a lot of damage. Let's not take any risks. Holy shit, that was insanely easy like that. <laughs> Sorry, fat boy. Unrefined sake. We have one of these, right? Oh, I have six prayer beads. God damn. Alright, remember to use that. Remember to use that. Yeah, one HP bar. That was incredibly easy. This guy is very slow. Yeah, that's it for Tokujiro. Pellet, exactly what I needed. Please don't tell me that was just a side area. Nah, that can't be. It's 
serious? Oh, okay. Whew. I was worried for a second. I was worried. I was like, if that was an optional boss, I still probably would have beaten him, but still. Lump of fat wax. Oh, are you serious? All this work just to... Yeah, all this work to just to get on top of this pagoda. Okay. Whoa. Camera stoned. What the hell? It's a boss. Uh, let's go for Ongo Sugar. Drop tag this little bitch. Miss Noble. Rolled him straight into the fire. Are you kidding? Okay. 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 I get it, game. It's a bamboo, a lump of fatty wax that has formed inside the body and turned pitch black, used for occultic prosthetic tools. A long suffered illness will see the growth turn large and blacker still. It is customary to run over the site of an extra. Gross! Don't use that. Okay. Please don't tell me that made things worse. Yashariku's sugar. Okay, how's max vitality and posture while gaining a large attack boost? Holy shit. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, so was that all an illusion? Damn, that's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. And the stone is gone as well. Okay, I got you, game. I got you. The area looks much better this way. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't like foggy forest areas. Just, you know, bad history. Okay, looks like these these dudes are still around. Which begs the question of how the fuck I'm gonna get up to them. Okay, we gotta MKX this. Or MK11 it. Reaction block. Against projectile spammers, it's your best option. Told you. Thank you for cooperating, camera. These dudes are way weaker like this than they were in their original form. Their original forms were like semi annoying. And these ones are only slightly annoying. Nice. Mibu village. All right, we're gonna. Oh, I didn't do it. At one time, the guardian ape shared its den with a mate, but he alone became infested while the other passed away. Now even the flowers offered in tribute to her passing have withered to dust. Oh, that's kind of sad. He lost his monkey waifu. So who was the brown monkey then? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. He must have been cheating on his wife. That monkey bastard. Oh, I'm happy to see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you sell? Holy shit, you do. I'm about to clear your shit out. Oh, I can sell them to him. Right, the coin pouches? Or can I just use them? I have a lot of coin pouches. Cool. May the departed rest in peace as I fucking extract money from this poor innocent samurai. 
Okay. Hello there. You're just slaughtering these people straight away. Not even gonna give a fuck. Whether they're friendly or not, they're getting the samurai sword up their ass. Oh, do these guys keep coming back? Do we gotta moron blade them? Maybe. Maybe like you gotta moron blade their leader or something. Okay, first of all, because I'm curious. Let's go this way. Of the beaten path. Is where you'll fight doggos. Which I wasn't expecting because I knocked his ass off the cliff. That's for sure. Oh shit. Man, dire wolves don't do this like well in the Sekiro universe either, do they? I don't even think about that. Okay. Just trying to figure out whether this is really an optional path or if this is the... Okay, it's optional. Light coin purse. Don't tell me all that was for a light coin purse. Seems like it. Seems very much like it. All right, let's go into this little ditch here because... I see Trage. Er, a black carp scale. And the question is... Nah, okay. It's not gonna let me. Oh shit. We have a ninja. Just come on out here. Oh, he has that... Oh, that's a... Uh... That's a Mikiri attack. Yeah, what up? I healed right in your face. Shit. Why did I keep forgetting? Oh, god damn it. I wanted to get out. I couldn't jump out for some reason. It's all good. This guy's not that strong. Did I? I didn't Mikiri him. Oh, this guy is strong. I played like an asshole. It's all good. Now we can get this little bitch. There we go. So I went into... Are they really gonna give me this freebie? They really are. Wow. That was way more convenient. Yep. Hey. There's an easier way. Why not take it? Time to slaughter the villagers again. Again, don't ask me why. I guess they're kind of zombie-like, but... I don't know. Has there been an indication they're hostile? Not so far. Are we still killing them? Hell yeah. What is this place called? This is the Mibu village. Oh, is this where they make all those little uh, balloons? I don't know how the hell these guys work. They seem to respawn, but then again, they don't. Because, I don't know. But if they respawn constantly, that seems kind of OP because... They also drop coins and items. So it's like... What's gonna stop me from farming up hella shit? 
And let's try being a little bit more subtle here. Yep, okay. Let's try being a little bit more subtle as I immediately get noticed by the entire village. Are we killing everyone? I think we are. Hey, they're coming right at us. What choice do we have? Don't ask me why I'm so bad at Mikiri-ing. You know what? I kind of feel <laughs> I kind of feel bad. Very flashy though. Once you get that Mikiri, yeah, you do, you really do have a year to react to that. And these dudes. Okay. Let's peace out because I don't know, man. Something seems off about this place. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> All right. There's an interesting noise. Yeah, it's not like I just slaughtered half your village. And never mind that. Don't mention that to him. I like this dude. I don't know what he's smoking, but hey. That's completely fine with me. Oh, okay. Oh, is that how he survived? He threw up whatever. Oh, okay. There's some fuckery going on. Oh, that's it. Something with the water, that's for sure. Okay. Then we ask the same thing. Oh. Good to know. Flame vent. Okay, might be worth visiting. So was it the sake or was it the water that was fucked up? Other side of the pond, last house, house on the path. He's gonna be a boss, isn't he? Okay, 
Yep. Great. That's what I say on every Saturday. Must resist drinking. All right then. That was an interesting bit of conversation. Got some lore on this village, which is good. Sorry about messing your furniture up. Just trying to get to this grapple point, which I keep losing. There we go. Cool. So, we have the village, and we need to look for this hunter's house, and we need to look for the priest. I'm assuming that's the... Oh, no. Wait, didn't they say they all fear fire? Okay. Well, whatever. We're fi we'll figure everything out in the next episode. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here before I'll just kill this chicken. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.